Hey, Graham, how's it going? Long time no see, my man. How are you? How are you doing? Good. How's Hawaii? Oh, amazing, man. Beautiful sun. Yeah, what are you up to today? Uh, just coming from the studio, grabbing some lunch. What kind of studio do you got? It's a video studio. Video, audio. I'm sick. I've actually got a couple of videos I want to shoot. Yeah? I have a free afternoon right now if you want to check it out. I would love to. Let's go. Just around the corner. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, so besides a plumber, what other trades are going to be involved in replacing Poly B and how do you coordinate their work? Absolutely. So not just trades, but you have other people involved as well. So you've got preppers that have to prep the house, cover all the flooring, cut all the holes. You've got your plumbers to replace all the Poly B. You've got your drywallers. So in the drywall tray, we have mutters and tapers. We've got borders to put all the boards back up. And then we've got textures to texture the whole ceilings after, whether it's popcorn, knocked down, flat, um, scarecrow. Like there's a whole bunch of different kinds of textured ceilings. And then we also have the painters that have to come in after. And then we have cleaners. So if you were doing this on your own, you'd have to general contract all of these guys. Um, there's not a lot of drywall companies that will do the whole turnkey package. So you'll have to find the painting company. You'll have to find the texture company. You'll have to find the mutters and tapers. You'll have to find the borders. There's a lot there. Then you have to get your own cleaners after. Plumbers don't clean up very much after themselves. They're pretty messy when it comes down to it. Same with drywallers. They're a pretty messy group of guys too. And then who's prepping your home? Like if your home's not prepped, you know, they're just going to run through with their work boots on. So there's a lot of factors and there's a lot of, not just trades people, but people involved. Uh, with a company like ours, we have project management software and we have project managers. So we have zones of every city designated to certain managers and that they manage all the crews within their zones of their city. And then those managers are the absolute authority when it comes to their zones. So they don't have to talk and uh, reiterate anything back to the office. They have the final authority. They tell their guys how to do everything. We use project management software to monitor every step of the way. And throughout the entire project, each group of people have to sign off on what they did of the project. So if anything wasn't done to standard, we get to go back in time and say, okay, well, Brett, you signed off on this. And we say, and then we can deal with the situation and, and learn how to grow from that situation. Awesome. That's great. Yeah.